Welcome to iLector Online. It's been a long time since we talked about this particular topic and quite a few viewers have been asking me over the years, when are you going to finish that playlist? So far we've only accomplished 16 of the videos. It turns out that when the playlist is done we'll probably have over 40 of these. But um, here it is. We decided to start on this one and try to get this one done. And yes, we're trying to get all the unfinished playlists done, which will probably take us years to get that done. But anyway, here we are. We're starting on it. And this is number 17. We're talking about statistical thermodynamics. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the microstates and the probability of a 100 coin toss. So we have 100 coins. They can either be heads or tails. We toss them up. What will be the result? Notice when we talk about the probabilities that the numbers begin to be really big, really fast. And the reason for that is that we consider the coins to be distinguishable. That is really important. In other words, if the second coin is heads or tail, well, that's different if the third one is heads or tails. For example, let's say we're looking for the probability that one coin will be heads. Well, here we look for that. N represents the number of heads, one coin should be heads, and notice there's a hundred possibilities. You say, well, wait a minute, there's a hundred coins, one head, isn't it just one possibility? No, the answer is there's a hundred possibilities, because if the coins are distinguishable, each of the 100 coins can be heads and all the other ones tails, and you can go through all the 100 coins, so there's a hundred ways in which that can happen. And therefore, the numbers get to be humongous when we start talking about 10 coins having heads or 40 coins of having heads, you can see the numbers get quite large. Also, the reason why we put this chart up here is to get a feeling of the nomenclature, the, the letters, the, the values that we use when we try to explain the microstates, the macrostates, and the probabilities. Notice when we talk about the macrostates, we typically number them by K. The first macrostate, the second macrostate, the third, and so forth. In that respect, there's 101 macrostates. In other words, you can have zero coins with heads and 100 coins with heads and everything in between. We can also think of it as number of heads, and then, of course, the number goes from zero to 50. And that's where it would stop. But, of course, we can continue uh, all the way from 1 to 101 different macro states because we can have, well actually, even with n it can continue. We can have 100 heads of course, which would be the 101st macro state. There's 101 different macro states we can have. Then we look at the number of micro states and we use the letter W for that. And you'll see how W is very important in statistical thermodynamics. So you can see that when we look for Two heads out of 100, well, there's 4.9 times 10 to the third, or 4,900 different ways in which it can happen, again, if we're working with distinguishable coins. You can see that by the time we get to 50 heads, which is the 51st macro state, we can all the way, we go all the way up to 1 times 10 to the 29 different combinations in which this can happen. So, what is the Thermodynamic probability, it's simply the number of ways, the number of microstates you can have, the W. So that's known as the thermodynamic probability, and those numbers are usually huge. But then we have what we call the true probability, because essentially, when we add them all up, we should get equal to 1. If you add up all the probabilities, if it's normalized, and that's what we mean by true probability. True probability means normalized. I better put that word up so you can see it. And then you can see, of course, and if you add up all the various probabilities, they should all, all add up to one, which means that the most probable case is where 50 coins are heads and 50 coins are tails. And of course, that is a probability of about 0 0.08. About 8% of the time when you take 100 coins and toss them up and they're all distinguishable, that you'll have a case where 50 will be heads and 50 will be tails. Where does that number come from? Well, the total number of microstates is 2 to the 100 power. Now, if you convert that to a decimal, that's 1.26, basically 1.27 times 10 to the 30th. So if you take this, what we call thermodynamic probability of 1 times 10 to the 29 for 50 heads, and we divide that by the total number of microstates, well, that's how I end up with the 0 0.08. That's what we call the normalized probability. And then, of course, we can also look at the probability where we take the probability of a particular 
macro state occurring, so any one of these, start from one, for zero heads, two, for one head, three, for two heads, and so forth. So if you take any one of the macro states and you look at the probability, and then you divide that by the probability of the 51st macro state, where we have 50 heads, that ratio will give you the probability of that macro state occurring relative to the most probable macro state, which is the one with 50, 50 heads. And so you can see, of course, for the case of 50 heads, that's 1 to 1. For the case of 49 heads, surprisingly, it's 0.98 to 1. And in the case of uh, here, 48 heads, it's 0.92 to 1. So the probabilities of getting a case where it's close to 50-50, all those probabilities relative to one another are quite high. Once you start dropping down to 40 heads, then of course you're only down to about 14%. It's only 0.14 times as likely to get 40 heads as it is to get 50 heads, and that's what that number means. So now you can see there's essentially three types of probabilities. The thermodynamic probability, which is simply the number of microstates, then there is what we call the normalized probability, where when we add up all the probabilities, they should add up to one, so it's relative to one. And then we can compare the probability of any particular macro state and divide that by the most probable macro state. And so you can also look at the probability that way. So this is a good inroad to understanding this. We're going to get into a lot more detail on all these kind of things and look at various ways in the real circumstances where we deal with molecules in a chamber, for example. That's one of our dogs kind of shaking out. And so hopefully, once we have this inroad in understanding what we mean by thermodynamic probability, true probability, what the symbols mean and so forth, that will help us understand how to deal with, with what we call statistical thermodynamics. And that is how it's done. Hi, Smokey. He's coming to say hi. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Hmm? You're a good boy. Yeah. All right. Okay, go back to bed. Back to bed. He doesn't listen very well. Come on, go back to bed. <laughs> come on, Smokey. Bed, bed, come on. You can do it. Come on, you're almost there. Go lay down. Okay, lay down. There you are. Good doggy. <laughs>